Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and Razor Main Battle Guard here. This card used to be a 2-3, it's a 2-2, two -two, but you know what's going to be happening in April in just a few months? It will be rotating to wild, and well, once cards rotate from standard to wild, the Blizzard devs decide if they'll unnerf it, leave it the same as we see every year, and I wanted to give my feedback, my suggestions on how I feel the cards should be treated when they rotate to wild, as the Hearthstone team is much more standard focused, and I thought I'd give my insight, as good or bad as it is, on what cards should or should not get nerfed, and I'd love to hear your guys' comments in the comments below as well of what cards you think should stay the same or safe to go back to their original version. And as always, if you feel like I've earned your subscription, you wanna help support the channel, please drop a subscription below, give the video a like, it helps out a ton as we're on the road to 69,000 and 420 subs. So the three expansions that will be rotating alongside their corresponding mini, mini sets are Forged in the Barrens, United in Stormwind, it's leaving, and Fractured in Alterac Valley. And we're gonna go through all the cards and there's a bunch of them. So let's hit that list. Starting with Forged in the Barrens, we have Razor Main, Battleguard, the first taunt minion you play each turn costs two less. This was a two three, it's a two two now. This card didn't see any play in wild back in the day. Hell, if you probably reverted this in standard, I don't even know if it makes a dent, but I think this one is absolutely safe to revert. Celestial Alignment used to be double-sided and seven mana and is arguably more problematic in wild than it ever was in standard. I would not touch this. I would leave it alone at eight. This is a card we don't want to see super present in the wild meta where it is playable even in the state. So for me, don't revert this one whatsoever. Coal Car Pack Runner used to be a two mana two three rather than a three mana three four saw like no play in wilds probably still wouldn't see much play and if it did as a two mana two three i think that'd be perfectly fine i think this one is absolutely safe to revert this one might be a bit controversial as refreshing spring water used to be four mana it's five now but now that encanter's flow is four mana remember encanter's flow used to be two when this one was four i'd honestly revert it to four i think it's relatively safe no decks really currently use it and it would just be a nice boost for me but i can imagine a lot will disagree with this one. Conviction used to be one mana and is a card I probably wouldn't revert, but is one I would not be surprised to see get reverted. But when you have cards like Crab Rider, which got reverted last year, I just think this card for one mana in a deck like Odd Paladin, those type of decks, it's just, it's too damn good. It makes games way too fast. And uh, considering some of my other recommendations, I just don't think this should go back to one, but again, would not be surprised to see it happen. Sword of the Fallen used to have three durability and this card sees meta play in wild it has even since it's nerf and like tax paled and decks like that i'd leave it at two it's a good card with two durability at three it was omega busted even in wild it was really dominant in its time i just think at two durability it makes sense it's a good solid card efficient octobot used to be two mana and again another card i just I wouldn't do it because we don't want more mass mana cheat. Rogue can already do really terrifying things with Pillager Rogue, and this at two mana scares me, and especially, you know, with the cards coming out in the future, would only get more insane, so I would not revert. Octobot. Perpetual Flame used to be one mana and it still sees play at two to this day. You could revert it. I probably wouldn't, but either way, I don't think it'll make a huge impact. But Shaman already has like Toxfin Flurgle. I don't know if you really want to be giving them even more insane board clears and wild. So it's probably safer to keep it too. But again, it could go either way. Our first card here that is banned, Stealer of Souls, currently not playable in wild. It got banned in wild while it was four mana and then got nerfed afterwards to six. And if you're not aware of how they treat cards that are banned basically once they go back to wild when they've been banned they will reassess if the card is okay as is depending on how the game has evolved or they will rework the card nerf it for wild stealer it souls at six mana with its combination with vital illusionist i think it's six it's probably safe i think you can leave it as is i think you can unban it leave it at six but definitely don't put it to four that would probably be a bad idea far watch post as a two three used to be a two four 
Tax Paladin, those type of decks still run this as a 2-3 quite often. I personally wouldn't revert it. I think it's just too obnoxious to try and kill the card when it has four health and it still sees meta play. I just don't see the point of reverting this one. Martian Watch Post used to have five health and I think that's safe to go back to punishing people that play minions, I guess. But overall, I feel like this card hasn't seen any play since it got nerfed and I would be curious to see how it would act if it got reverted. So I would revert this one. And lastly, we have Mancrick's Wife, which used to have 10 health, but now has seven. Mancrick, barely ever a relevant card in Wild. And even if you reverted this one, I don't even know if it would pop up, but you could probably make Mancrick's Wife a 310, although it kind of goes against the whole Warrior Legendary now. So maybe they won't do it for flavor reasons, but I personally would revert it. Next, we have the United and Stormwind cards, the terrifying concept. And first we have the Hunter Quest, would not revert this whatsoever. It was arguably better in Wild than it was in Standard. Still sees a bit of play. And again, it's a really toxic style of gameplay and putting this back down to like two spells for the first proc. Just please don't revert this one. Sorcerer's Gambit, the reward used to get plus three spell damage. And again, with Encanter's Flow being four mana, I actually think this one's pretty safe to revert if you want to for a while. I don't think it becomes a big meta player. I still think Quest Mage is infinitely better and way more problematic. I think you could revert Sorcerer's Gambit. Garrote used to shuffle three bleeds into the deck, and I think we leave it at that. I don't think this is something you really want to promote, especially with Octobot being there and they might revert that. I don't know. I definitely wouldn't revert both. I personally wouldn't revert either, but if I had to pick between the two, Garot would probably be the one I would revert. Sketchy information recently got nerfed to three mana. I would leave it at four. That big rogue deck is just really unfun and toxic for a lot of people. I apologize. Dane probably would want to revert it. I'll give my vote. I think it should stay the same. Ranit Forgeborn used to be a four or five. It's a four four now. Give it a health. I don't think it matters. I don't think people are going to play Elemental Shaman at a high level anyways, so you might as well make this a Yeti. The Elephant in the Room, the other banned card that will be going to Wild, the Demon Seed, got nerfed after it got banned, making each step cost eight damage on your turns. I don't think this card can stay as is with in Wild because you have cards like Crystallizer, which complete this quest way too fast with Raise Dead, Cobalt Librarian, and then you also have Hyper Fatigue strategies that just completely destroy people with that reward and even the self damaging aspect with unlicensed apothecary can absolutely murder people really quickly i just think the card needs to be impossible to complete i would actually change it so it takes 10 damage each step of the way meaning you have to do 30 you basically have to sacrifice yourself it's almost thematic because i feel like this card needs to be just impossible to complete because that reward is just so fundamentally broken especially in a format like wild it would terrify me to make it even remotely playable and I don't think they want to rework the effect of the card I would just make it outright not completable so for this I wouldn't even revert it I wouldn't keep it the same I would nerf it even harder touch of the netherzine used to heal you for four it heals you for three this card still sees play in wild as is it's really good I don't think you need the extra healing but if they wanted to revert it I'd be fine with it as like a style of warlock player but it'd probably be pretty unfair I'd probably leave it as is rune mithril rod is still busted at five this used to cost three mana. It should stay at five. There's no way this should get adjusted any further unless they want to nerf it again. I'm down with that, but absolutely should not get reverted. That would be kind of a disaster. If there's one quest you could probably revert, it would be the Shaman one. Command the Elements, the last stage basically had an extra overload card added to it. Instead of two, it's three. Not super prevalent and wild during its unnerved time. It did see some play, but I just don't see it being a big problem, especially Lightning Bloom has since been nerfed. That was one of the big enablers of the deck. I do think Command the Elements probably could get reverted. The Warrior Quest got nerfed two times with every stage requiring three pirates rather than just the first, and it was two in two. It's arguably more problematic in wild than it is in standard. Maybe they could revert one of the lines, but overall, I'd probably leave Raid the Docks, but you guys know me. I ain't no fan of quest lines, and the people that really want to play this card still can. They still can get Rakara. It just isn't a meta tyrant. Also, one revert I will be recommending would also make this even more problematic. Pandora and a Porter used to be a two mana one three and got nerfed because of an interaction with Shadow Step, and well, she was always supposed to be reverted, so I imagine she will be, and it's about damn time. Battlemaster, I think in Wild at five is probably fine, but even Warlock players will probably get upset about this one, so. It'll be interesting to see what happens, but overall, I think this can go to five in a wild format, 
but maybe that's a little too degenerate. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But honestly, I think it's okay at five. And lastly, probably another controversial one. I think Mr. Smite in Wild at six is fine. As long as, especially if the warrior quest isn't reverted, I don't think this is a big deal at six. It would buff Pirate Rogue actually, which is one of the best decks in the format. So maybe we'd want to avoid it for that, but maybe we could have just Pirate Rogue. But overall, outside of the Rogue stuff, I feel like it'd be fine. So another one that will be an interesting one to see. And last we have Altrak Valley. Caria used to be six mana. And basically it's interaction with the Colossal. They, they nerfed it to seven. This can go back to six and wild. It'd be absolutely no problem. Guff used to give you a full crit crystal rather than an empty mana crystal and he's still ridiculously busted I wouldn't revert it and that's coming from someone who loves guff I just think it's too OP as it is and uh buffing it again I think would be just kind of silly dragon bane shot used to be two mana I'd like to keep it that way I don't want to buff the quest line stuff it just it just isn't fun to face, and this would be just a quest line card. Carriel used to be seven, still really good at eight. The biased player in me kind of wants to say reverted to seven, but honestly, at eight, it probably should stay there, and I probably would not recommend for it to get reverted. Forsaken Lieutenant recently got nerfed from two to three mana. I don't love its interaction with Mine Rogue, but at two mana in Wild, it's probably okay, especially if they keep Sketchy the same. If I was to revert one of the Death Rattle cards, it would be this one for me. Wild Paw Knoll used to be a four or five also used to be six mana maybe it gets nerfed before it even goes back to wild but overall however this guy ends in standard unless they buff him for some reason i think it should stay that way and just not go down that road for wild scabs used to be seven mana is now eight and in wild it's probably fine at seven to be completely honest with you so this one if it got reverted i would be okay with snowfall guardian not only used to be five mana but grew with the minions it froze this card still sees play in top tier shutterwalk decks please leave it as is it's still already a really good card i don't want to have to go down that road again either iron deep trog used to summon a copy instead of another trog um, this was a good nerf i don't see any reason to revert it it's still a really good card drekthar used to summon two minions from your deck there's no way this should be reverted in wild especially if shaman with like spear of the frog shenanigans that deck was utterly disgusting and probably be better now than it was then as well as like priest with like radiant elemental and all the inner fire stuff plus crab rider has since been reverted just do not revert drekthar it would be a disaster ice revenant got nerfed because frost dk was looking too good at plate testing you could probably revert it give frost dk some life in wild let's see how good it really is and last you have kazakasan which basically originally just required deck to just be dragons or just spells or empty or whatever so you just ramped it out and cheated it out and all that don't know if you revert this one that cheese strat i don't know if it's as good in wild but at the very least if you don't revert it give it back it's locust it used to have that and that's at least kind of fun to play with well that's all the nerfs let me know what you guys think in the comments below what would you change what would you stay the same or would you just obliterate a card even harder enjoy the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends